uh, this video has more example on hybridization. We are not going to do so much in detail. The molecule will be given to you, its Lewis structure will be given and we will um, do the hybridization, geometry and polarity of these molecules. So again we are doing the hybridization etc. for the molecule XeF2O2. The first thing we will do will be the drawing of the Lewis structure. This molecule has 34 valence electrons and hence the Lewis structure will look as shown. It will have 4 bonds and 1 lone pair and hence it will be an AB5 type of molecule. The electron domain geometry will be trigonal bipyramidal. The molecular geometry because of the presence of 1 lone pair will be seesaw and it will be DSP3 hybridization and the molecule will, uh, has a bond angle as shown over there and it will be, be definitely polar. Identify the hybridization of bromine in BrO3 minus. Let's draw start with drawing the Lewis structure. The first one is total valence electron is 26, added 1 for the negative charge. The Lewis structure will look as shown over there. You can see that it has a lone pair in the center, therefore, it's an AB4 type of molecule, 3 bonds and 1 lone pair. And uh, the electron domain uh, geometry will be tetrahedral because of the AB4 type of molecule. The molecular geometry will be trigonal pyramidal, 3 atoms on 1 lone pair, sp3 hybridization and the bond angle will be 107.3 degrees less than the tetrahedral angle and the presence of the lone pair makes the molecule polar. Identify the hybridization of nitrogen in N2O. Uh, drawing the Lewis structure of uh, the nitrogen uh, calculate the valence electron we have 10 plus 6 16 valence electron and the Lewis structure will be as shown there with a two double bond between the nitrogen and hence it is an AB2 type of molecule and it has uh, two atoms and no lone pair and the electron domain geometry will be linear and it has no lone pair therefore the molecular geometry will also be linear and then the uh, molecule N will be sp hybridized and the bond angle will be 180 because of the linear structure and uh, the molecule will be polar because the central atom has different atoms attached to it. Let's do a little different kind of question. Identify the hybridization of carbon and number of pi bonds. So the first carbon which has a carbon triple bond nitrogen will have a S P hybridization because it has as I said a triple bond attached to that carbon. The next carbon we have two more carbons and um, that has a double bond attached to it and hence that will have an sp2 hybridization and the reason I have written there also it has a double bond on the carbon. The other carbon it is similar to the one which was just now said that will also be sp2 hybrid because of a double bond on that carbon. So how do we know that the double bond and triple bond will be the hybridization? I refer to the table below. A carbon single bond will be sp3, double bond will be sp2 and triple bond will be sp. And the number of pi bonds in this compound is 3. I have uh, a triple bond. A triple bond has 2 pi bonds and I have a double bond which has 1 pi bond. Hence the total number of uh, pi bonds is 3. So, uh, one more, identify the hybridization of carbon and number of pi bonds in the molecule given over there. So, you can see that the first carbon and the second carbon which is shown over there have a triple bond on carbon and hence it will be sp hybrid. So, 
So let's consider the carbons in the center. These two carbons have a single bond on them and hence it will be sp3 hybrid. So I have two more carbons there and uh, when you look at them you can see that there is a triple bond between them and hence the hybridization will be sp. So now to count the number of pi bonds I'll have four on them because I have uh, two triple bonds and each triple bond has two pi bonds.